A parent says the worst way to judge a person. If you're a fan of power fantasy shows, then this is the first lesson you're gonna learn. The main character may be the most silent and innocent one in the group, but give him a gun or a pair of swords, and you'll start to think sharing a room with a serial killer is a better option. As usual, we plan on bringing more videos in the future, so don't forget to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button along with the bell notification. Okay, take those guns and blades back because I don't want to get killed while introducing them. Here are the anime where the main character looks weak but is an overpowered badass. Number 10, Jomungand. <laughs> Let me tell you something, little kids aren't family friendly these days. You may look at a child and think he's cute, but the next thing you know, he'll be quoting philosophy and shooting guys in the head. This is the case in Jomungand. It's about Coco Hekmatia, a young arms dealer who does illegal business. Coco may be smart, but she isn't the badass here. That award goes to her new assistant, Jonah. Jonah is recruited as a child soldier, but soon displays skills to match a grown man. He's quick on his feet, has good precision in his guns, and give the boy 5 minutes and he'll drop dead bodies more than you can count. If you need a fun action anime with heists and bucket loads of revenge, this is the show for you. Number 9. Be the Beginning Back during the times when Netflix threw out Devilman Crybaby, another anime series that got equally discussed was Be the Beginning. Be the Beginning happens in a technologically advanced world where a serial killer called B leaves out a blood trail in the city. Now it's up to a detective named Keith to find out the reasons behind these killings. It is amazing how Be the Beginning combines a simple yet engaging mystery to a larger plot involving supernatural events and criminal organizations. Be the Beginning is honestly one of the best mystery anime you can binge watch. If you haven't heard of this one, it's because it's underrated, but the show's characters, animation, and its mystery is indeed top notch. You'll soon start to like Koku, who, similar to Jonah, looks weak but in truth can take down enemies within a second. Number 8. 100 100 may feature the good old mecha vs evil alien battle, but one main reason to watch it is the main character of the show. Here we have Hayato Kisaragi who, at first, may look like a weak and clumsy boy, but put him in an arena and you'll soon lose your bet. His ability known as Variant gives him a higher reaction score, and when his life is on the line, he enters a state referred to as Raging Berserk. If it's not obvious from the name itself, this is where he manages to go into Rage Mode with his powers surging through him. His training has also granted him Sense Energy, which is used by him to create E-Barriers to defend himself and accelerate to propel himself forward. In short, there's a reason why girls like him. Number 7. I'm Standing on a Million Lives <laughs> Getting thrown into an isekai world is cool, but not when you're forced into it. Here we have Yotsuya Yusuke, who along with his classmates Shindo Uyu and Hakozaki Kusue had been transported into a game world. After their arrival, they meet somebody calling themselves the Game Master, and he gives them a quest to complete within the given time. Here's where the twist comes in. While his friends are transformed into a warrior and mage respectively, Yusuke is only turned into a farmer. Now it's up to him to navigate the world in the weakest class. Or oh, that's what you would think. Turns out this farmer has more than what any hero could ask for. Trust me, after watching this, you might think farming isn't that much of a bad job to begin with. Number 6. Kyokai no Katana Let's move away from the fantasy a little bit and head towards a world of supernaturalism. The story starts when Akihito Kanabara saves his fellow schoolmate Mirai Kuriyama from committing suicide. But after he is accidentally stabbed, Mirai learns that Akihito is actually half human and half Yomu. Now she is dragged into a world of humans and monsters as she struggles to overcome her own life problems while also trying to protect herself from the monsters hunting her. Akihito, on the other hand, isn't your average high schooler either. He may look like a background character, but having the blood of a monster, he is more powerful than normal humans, and picking a fight with him is the last thing you should do. 
Number five, talentless Nana. By now, you should know talentless means that she's actually very talented. In this case, she's talented in assassinating people. Let me back up and explain. This happens in a world where children and powers are born and the government views them as enemies. These children are sent to a deserted school where they should survive on their own. Along comes a transfer student, Nana, an assassin sent over by the government to kill the students. Nana may look like a cute girl doing a cute thing, but there's nothing cute with assassination, is there? Nana may appear like a regular high school girl, but no one is safer when they are alone with her. So the next time you play Among Us, you know what to do when a person called Nana is there in your party. Number 4. Wandering Witch – The Journey of Elena A cute overpowered witch goes on a journey to explore the world. What other way is there to explain the journey of Elena? If you want to follow the adventures of a cute white-haired witch, then add this one to the watch list. If you want the synopsis in a single sentence, there's a witch named Elena who had a long ambition to travel around the world. And in this anime series, she finally does that. Yep, it's that simple. The story is straightforward and unlike most fantasy anime doesn't involve wars and tragic character deaths in its premise. But the story can be really interesting because of its pacing. The world around Elenia is shown through the story as she gets involved with different characters and their struggles. And as you move along the anime, you can see how Elena shows off that cute is the last thing she could be. Number 3. Kaga Star of an Insect Cage Let's move on to Netflix and Apocalypse with Kagastar of an Insect Cage. Think of this as an Attack on Titan but with large insects. The anime takes place in a post-apocalyptic world that revolves around giant mechanical insects eating people. We follow the adventures of Kido, a boy who fights insects along with a team of resistance soldiers. There's not much difference between Kagastar of an Insect Cage and other apocalyptic anime. You've got the theme of humanity versus monsters, the dystopian world, and of course, some cynical philosophy thrown in here and there. But one thing that will get you hooked is the main character. Kido may look like the backward guy, but set him in front of some monsters and it won't be long before the bloodbath starts. Number 2. By the Grace of the Gods Life always gives you second chances, and By the Grace of the Gods tells the story of a man who got a second chance in his life. Yoma Takabayashi is a lonely man who led a life filled with hardships until he died from an unfortunate accident and got reincarnated in a fantasy world as a child. Here, he makes use of his innate knowledge and abilities combined with the blessings he received from three goddesses to lead a new life and start a new adventure. If it isn't obvious, this anime belongs to the isekai anime with the overpowered protagonist niche. You may argue Yoma looks like a kid, but you saw how Jonah from Jomungand looked like a kid and still killed people, so you better stop your arguments right there. Number 1. Kara no Kyokai Spawned from the creator of Fate, this masterpiece is a definite must-watch due to a couple of reasons. One, it features a female protagonist instead of the usual overpowered male protagonist. Two, unlike many other anime, it doesn't survive on any cliches. And three, it has a unique story that mixes in psychological philosophy with its supernatural story to deliver a show that is both action-filled and suspenseful. Kara no Kyokai is about Shiki solving supernatural mysteries with Mikia Kokuto in a detective agency. Shiki has the mystic eyes of death perception, which can see the lines of death of anyone, whether they are living or non-living. By cutting these lines of death, she can shatter their existence, which means she can kill them even from a distance. Killing just by stamping a thread? If that isn't badass, I don't know what is. So, did you see some underestimated guys and girls who are actually badass when they are called for the action? As I said, appearances can be deceiving. Let me know down below in the comments what anime you're planning on watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't forget to watch the videos we're releasing next. Thanks for watching, anime geeks, and I'll see you in the next video.